Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. How you doing today? Are you well? That's good. I'm happy to hear that. So today I want to talk to you about living to learn because that is very, very important. A lot of us are not even really truly living. We're just surviving. Okay. And in order to really live, there's lessons that we're going to have to learn. And a lot of people are scared to live because, you know, lessons can be painful. But there's always a blessing within a lesson. All right. And sometimes we just have to step outside of our comfort zones, go outside of ourselves and just face the unknown. That fear of the unknown, it, it really has the potential to hold us back from everything, everything we could really be manifesting in life. All righty. Are you living to learn? Are you living to learn or are you just living to survive? That's what you really need to ask yourself. I had to ask myself that shit a long time ago because I definitely was living to survive for a very long time. And a lot of times we are living to survive and we don't even realize that. But when you're living to survive, that's when you're not truly living in your passion. You're not walking in your purpose. You're not living in your destiny. You're just living, doing what you have to do, what maybe society says is correct for you to do what they deem as ethically or morally or politically or societally or, you know, whatever correct for you to do in order to survive, to make to make a means to an end, to put a roof over your head, to provide for your children X, Y, and Z. However, you're not passionate about it. You're unfulfilled. You know, you're just you're just like a robot. Just like everybody else, just doing something just to do it. Where's the passion in your life? That's what, that's the times where it leaves us feeling so unfulfilled and nobody should want to live a life just saying woulda, coulda, shoulda. You know, you have to ask yourself, why is it always a woulda, coulda, shoulda? What is the reason that stopped you from pursuing your purpose? You have to ask yourself that. Is it because you're afraid to live? Is it because the challenges that may come up, you don't, you don't, you feel like it's going to be too much work. You don't want to put that in. And let me tell you something. And I know I always sound very cliche with my little sayings, but I know you guys have heard them a lot. And, I, you know, at the end of the day, they're there for a reason. They've lasted all this time for a reason. And one thing I must definitely say is anything worth having is worth working hard for. Sometimes you have to start from the bottom and work your way up. And that's okay. That's okay because that's a part of life experience. Those are the lessons. Those are the things that help you to show the gratitude when you attain the things that you truly want. If everybody just had things just handed to them, you know, this world would be even worse. It'd be even colder than it is now. It's already lacking a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of compassion, a lot of empathy. It'd be even worse. Even worse, guys. So you have to appreciate the process. You have to appreciate the process and you have to make sure that you're living your life in order to learn, to make the changes. The things that you are used to, the things that you grew up hearing and stuff, you see that those things may not necessarily have worked out the way that you wanted to. Plans never go as planned, but that's okay. That's a part of life. That's a part of living. That's a part of experience. You keep going. You take those lessons because they're going to make you a better person. They are. When you look back at it, it's going to make you a better person. If you're scared to live, what are you really going to have to look back on? What are you going to have to tell, you know, your heirs about you? What what pearls of knowledge are you going to be able to impart to people? Do you think people are really going to look up to you? How are they going to look up to you? Do you want people to look up to you? How do you want to be viewed? Do you want people to view you as who you really are? Or do you want them to view you as a robot? One of the crowd. Somebody who's just living to survive, just a, a survivor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's okay. Being afraid to fail will hold you back from truly living life and knowing true abundance. And that is very, very true. You cannot be afraid to fail. Anybody who's anybody who's successful can tell you, unless they were just blessed enough to just be born into the, you know what I'm saying, the wealth and shit, they had to try over and over and over and over and over and over again. You know why that spray cleaner 409 got named 409? Because the owner of that shit, that's how many times he tried to get it patented, but he never gave the fuck up. And look at it now. 
known in households all over the world. That could be you. That could be you. I'm just saying. It's going to be me. It could be you too. It could be you too. What you trying to do? Why do you think sometimes your soul longs for things that you've never experienced? Have you ever thought that? Have you ever asked yourself that? Have you ever wondered why sometimes you might look on TV or be flipping through a magazine or something and you see some super exotic ass shit that don't even go on in your hood and stuff? You know, that the people around you, you might show it to them and they're like, oh, who, do, who does that? You know what I'm saying? That's for white people or whatever. And that's just a stereotype, but your soul longs to do these things and you wonder why. You wonder why. That might have been one of your passions in a past life. That might That may have been a craft that you mastered in a past life. That your soul is nudging you like, hey, maybe you need to explore in this. And that could be something that could open up numerous doors for you in this one. But you're going to be, are you going to be scared? You're going to be scared of the unknown? You're going to block your blessings or the potential of something that could be? You just never know? You're just not going to try? What? Who do that? Who do that? You might be denying yourself your soul's purpose. And who are you? To deny your soul is purpose. Because one thing about us that we should know by now is that we are all souls, energies, beings of light having a human experience, right? So our soul travels through lifetimes, okay? Our souls pick up things. Our souls can identify things. Our souls will always remind us of things that we know whether we realize it or not, your soul will always take its passion with it through each lifetime. So don't deny yourself, all right? Live, live to learn, live to experience. Don't just live to survive. Don't put yourself in a box. Who wants to be in a box? Who wants to be in a box? Who wants to be in a box? Not me, not me, not me, not me. What else? I put that right. Oh, yes. It's a good one. Sometimes that fear of the unknown is a test to see if you are ready or deserve your true abundance. Now, I channeled that one directly for y'all. Just a heads up. Sometimes it's a test. Sometimes that fear of the unknown is a test to see how bad do you really want it? How bad do you really want abundance? Okay, maybe your abundance is supposed to come to you in a way not what you thought. How bad do you want it? Think about that. Think about that. Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself, are you ready to live? Because guys, we have merely just been surviving. So ask yourself that. Are you ready to live? Are you ready to tackle the unknown? Face your fears? Take yourself outside of that box? Look at things in a different perspective. Expand your horizons. It's time for all of us to do that. I know you feel the energy in the air, right? You know it's time. So what I would love for everybody to do is to challenge themselves, right? I would love for everybody to really sit and brainstorm and think of one thing that you have always wanted to do, that you always put off, that you said you were waiting for the perfect timing to do. One thing that is totally outside of your comfort zone. Nothing illegal, <laughs> okay? Or nothing that might kill you, but one thing you have always wanted to do, all right, that maybe you might have told people or people have talked you out of, or it's just, it's just totally out of your element. And I want to challenge you to go ahead and do that before this month is out. This is the time, October, this is the time. Something towards your dreams. Something extreme. Not wearing a different color when you always wear black. No, something extreme. All right? Record yourself doing something. Post it. Doing a passion of yours. Discover a new passion. Look up something new. Try something different. And let me know how it goes. I wish you the best. I believe in you, okay? I believe in you. And I believe that your soul knows best. Remember that. And don't forget to live to learn. I love you.